All right, y'all. It's about um, it's about eleven thirty in the afternoon, and it's in November, mid-November. Going to be replacing the sliding glass door, and I want to show you the temperatures. It's about fifty-five degrees outside, <clears throat> so I'm going to shoot this with the thermometer so you can see. I'm going to be comparing this door, which is a dual pane aluminum frame, to a vinyl door, sliding glass door that my sister and myself are going to put in. So let's take a look, and I'll shoot it after the vinyl is in. Okay, so right now, it's showing up at, let's just call that 64.5, and it'll be under this grid. We're going to go over here where the screen is at. 63.6, and the metal frame itself right above the handle, or we'll go right below it, is 61. Shot at 61. So let's go over here and go right in the corner on the aluminum. And that's at 60.2, just about 60. So my plan is after I put the door in, so the door should be more, the new door, the vinyl should be more energy efficient. Just going to do a comparison to see how much energy efficiency I gain by putting a vinyl door with hopefully more energy efficient panes and going from aluminum to vinyl. So stay tuned, y'all. All right, y'all. The vinyl sliding glass door is in. And we're going to shoot the temps and see what the difference is in the temperatures before with the aluminum frame, older, dual paned sliding glass door, and the temps on the newer vinyl door. It's 1130, and it's 55 degrees outside. So it's the same as when I took the temps before at the aluminum door. So let's check this. The aluminum sliding glass door came in when I shot the temp at 64.5. Let's see what it is now. 70 degrees. In this area, <clears throat> the slider pane itself the aluminum door, so before it came in at 63.6. Now, 69.4. The frame area, the vinyl itself, the aluminum came in at 61. The vinyl is coming in at 70.2. In this area of the frame, now I saw the prior video and I said 60.2. Uh, I had moved the uh, thermometer, so it might have, anyway, whatever we go with, either 60.2 or 60.9. That's the before shot on the aluminum frame. And now, as you guys can see, and now it's coming in at 69.8. All right, <clears throat> so there's clearly a difference in, in the heat or cold transfer, right? On these panes of glass and the vinyl frame itself. I would say anywhere from six to nine, maybe 10 degrees. And um, so that's one. I, I did gain some energy efficiency by installing this vinyl. <clears throat> Two other uh, benefits that I noticed. One is the the noise. The reduction in noise inside this home, this living room, with this vinyl door versus the aluminum, older aluminum, is very noticeable. It's much more quiet. So I, I like that. And secondarily, it's less drafty. Even if I stand within like eight feet of this, I can feel the difference of the draftiness of of the um, cool air in this room. So that's a benefit as well. <clears throat> Something that's demonstrative sort of demonstrates the efficiency of this vinyl sliding glass door versus the aluminum is this. This is a sheet, y'all, that I use right there, that I've put up there and used to cover the sliding glass door in the evening and in the summertime when it's really hot. And then I had the sheer curtain. 
Um, I've got a lot of work to do on this home, so nothing's really permanent. And quite honestly, even after I finish the home, I don't know that I just wouldn't use a sheet because I'm not a high-end gal. But my point to bringing this up, the sheet issue up, is that when I had the aluminum door and would drop this sheet at night to cover the door, it goes all the way down to the floor there. <clears throat> this sheet would concave out. Let me put this little thing down. Not concave, convex. This sheet right here, when dropped all the way to the floor, would convex out like this. It would pooch out. And, it, and when I put my hand behind the sheet on the side here, I just put my hand behind it and feel, it was really cold. And if I poked the sheet, I could feel, you know, kind of pushed it in. I could feel the coldness coming out from beside the sheet. That sheet does not convex out anymore. It does not pooch out anymore. It sits flat on this vinyl sliding glass door. And when I put my hand behind it, I don't feel that cold, cold air. So it certainly has done its job in providing more energy efficiency in this home. And so uh, I'm pretty close to, I, I'm pretty impressed with the difference in the temps in this home, the draftiness, the, um, the noise reduction, reduction that I'm considering changing out all of my aluminums when I put in uh, or when I install the siding, I'm considering it. I like aluminum windows, but I really also like what I gained from this vinyl sign glass door versus aluminum. What I will tell you is that if you're considering replacing your windows, you have aluminum windows, and I'm talking specifically about whether it's single, well, really whether it's single pane or dual pane, it doesn't really matter. Let's just say aluminum windows in your home. <clears throat> And you're trying to figure out what you gain by replacing them with vinyl. You're going to likely gain the very things that I just articulated. And with single pane windows, aluminum windows, you certainly will uh, not have the moisture problem, condensation problem that you have with those. And some people have that also with dual pane aluminum windows. Um, I don't think I'll experience that with the vinyl. Uh, but if you're considering replacing all of your windows with vinyl, I think you have to do the cost-benefit analysis to make that decision. That's what I would do. Uh, meaning, what's it, what are you going to save if you replace all your windows versus what are you going to pay to have them all replaced? If you're installing them yourself like I did and I'm going to do, uh, I would say it's worth it because it's, it's just the cost of the materials, and that's, it's just not a lot. It's the window itself, whatever shims you may need, sealant, that sort of thing, and trim if you have to replace the trim. If you have somebody else install them, <clears throat> that can get really cost prohibitive. And if I had to have somebody else install these for me, I would not convert from aluminum to dull pane, um, from aluminum to vinyl, because I would never recoup the costs in energy savings ever because they charge so much to replace windows. But what you would gain, though you won't make up that money difference of what you spent, what you would gain, I think, is some uh, quietness in your home. And that and also less draftiness, more energy efficiency. So I just wanted to show you the difference between the temp shot on an aluminum sliding glass door and a vinyl. So it does look like it, it does its job. Alrighty y'all, there's not much else I can share with you. Hope it helps, stay tuned.